Introduction All matter is made of atoms. Protons and neutrons occupy the center portion of the atom and the electrons revolve around them in a particular orbit. Electrons which are in the outermost orbit are responsible for conduction of current. Electrons flow from a body or point where there is an excess of electrons to a body or point where there is a deficit of electrons. In other words, electrons flow from a body that is negatively charged to a body that is positively charged. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to explain the structure of atoms, define conductors and insulators, understand the electrical conductivity of some liquids in general, identify the chemical effects of electric current, list the uses of chemical effect such as electroplating. We classify the materials as conductors and non-conductors. Materials which allow electric current to pass through them are good conductors of electricity. Metals like copper, aluminium are few examples of it. Materials which do not allow electric current to pass through them easily are called as poor conductors of electricity. Materials such as rubber and plastic are the example of this. We use tester to test the conductivity of materials which are in solid state. Do liquids conduct electricity? Most liquids that conduct electricity are solutions of acids, bases and salts. Chemical effect and electrolysis. When electric current is passed through acidified water, water molecules split into hydrogen and oxygen. The two metal rods shown in the diagram are called electrodes. This type of effect produced by electricity is called the chemical effect and the process is termed as electrolysis. Can we use pure water in the place of acidified water? Find out. Electroplating. It is common practice to coat articles made of cheap metals such as iron or steel with a thin layer of less reactive metal. A steel object, for example a spoon, is connected to the negative terminal of current source. The positive terminal is connected to the bar of the metal, for example pure silver. Thus the spoon acts as the cathode in the electrolysis while the bar of the metal acts the anode. The electrolyte is a solution of salt that contains the iron of the anode metal, for example, silver nitrate. As soon as electric current start flowing through the solution, electrons begin to escape from the silver anode. This result in the formation of positively charged ions which separate from the anode and pass into the solution. There they migrate towards the cathode attracted by its negative charge. When they reach the cathode, they accept electrons from it and change into silver atoms which deposits onto the cathode in the form of thin metallic layer. The thickness of the layer depends on the conditions under which the electrolysis is conducted. This process is known as electroplating. Use of chemical effect for silver and gold plating. This type of plating is done to deposit a thin layer of gold or silver on surface of the other metal, most often copper. It gives a gold or silver finish to the artificial jewelry and ornaments. Silver plated articles. Gold plated articles. Did you know? Electroplating is widely used in industry for coating metal objects with a thin layer of a different metal. For example, chromium plating is done on many objects such as car parts, bath taps, kitchen gas burners, bicycle handlebars, wheel rims and many others. Tin cans used for storing food are made by electroplating tin into iron. Thus, food does not come into contact with iron and is protected from getting spoiled. Iron is used in bridges and automobiles to provide strength. However, iron tends to corrode and rust, so 
A coating of zinc is deposited on iron to protect it from corrosion and rusting. Chemical effects of electric current. The passing of electric current through liquids or conducting solutions causes chemical reaction. More importantly, chemical activity may occur in the liquids around the electrodes. Bubbles of gas are formed, deposits of metal may be seen, and changes of color may occur on the electrodes. This reaction depends on what liquids and electrodes are used. The passing of electric current through a liquid causes chemical changes. This process is known as electrolysis. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Some liquids are good conductors of electricity and some are poor conductors. Most liquids that conduct electricity are solutions of acids, bases and salts. The passage of an electric current through a conducting liquid causes chemical reactions. The resulting effects are called chemical effects of currents. The process of depositing a layer of any desired metal on another material by means of electricity is called electroplating.